Hello and welcome back to another 30 minute missions review. Today we're taking a look at the Spinatio Sengoku type. The newest mech from the 30 minute missions line. And I am really excited to do this review. Because I was really excited to get my hands on this kit and I think it was warranted. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just get right into the review. Starting off, as always, with the articulation. Okay, getting into the articulation, as always, the head is on a ball joint, and it has a really good range. Of course, full rotation, because there's nothing getting in the way there. Then the neck is on a forward back hinge, which, uh, yeah, without any back armor, can go really far back and really far forward. So this thing has incredible range in the neck. Uh, moving on to the shoulder, while this doesn't have the forward hinge socket that the other 30 minute missions kits have doesn't really matter because <laughs> you can just get the arm pretty much straight across the chest anyway of course hinge outwards then a rotation at the bicep single joint at the elbow but it can get pretty much a full bend and the hands as always are on a ball joint and moving on to the waist you have a uh, fairly exposed ball joint there which gives it crunch either way and uh, a little bit of side to side <laughs> of course a rotation there too uh, then you get a hinge in the waist which basically gets 90 degrees uh, <laughs> which is very very good I'm not complaining about that at all it, it's so much articulation out of that and then also there's a ball joint down here, which is actually in the uh, waist piece, not up here. That gives it a little bit more wiggle, and of course a, another rotation. You're not going to get a ton of movement out of that, but it does work with this one to give you a fairly natural movement there. Then the hips have, as usual for 30 minute missions, master grade style movement. Though the construction is slightly different, it does work the same where each of these have independent hinges down then universal joints for the hips a little bit tight here on mine and uh, that's a massive step up because it still uses the ball joint system for here at the thigh swivel but it's way tighter than on the previous kits that I've reviewed then double jointed knee which depending on how you get it can get slightly more maybe <laughs> it's it's a full bend anyway then a forward back hinge at the ankle, which gets pretty good range. And a ball joint down in the foot, which is forward facing, meaning you can get pretty much 90 degrees either way. And also a little bit more of a wiggle there too. So this thing has incredible articulation, especially given how simple the construction is. Now getting into accessories. Let's start off with the stickers and color correction. There is none. Obviously, it's a 30 minute missions kit. Uh, that said, I will point out I did paint silver behind the visor, which is something I do on all of my kits. Just, it makes it look nicer. Uh, it would probably look fine without it, but I do think it looks a little bit better with it. Aside from that, all I did was use a gray Gundam marker to panel line it. And <laughs> as you can see, it looks amazing. Also, let's go over all the connection points because there's a lot of three millimeter peg holes on this. First off, there's one in the back of the head, which is definitely new, but it actually fits fairly well. And of course you have the three on the back, one on the back of each arm, the one on the chest, front and back of the hips, obviously the clips on the side of the hips, peg holes on the front of the leg as well as the back, and then each side of the thigh, as well as the bottom of the feet. And also these peg holes in the front here, which I believe are compatible with the knee armor of the previous 30 minute missions kits. But uh, getting into the actual accessories, let's start off with the hands, because you actually get multiple hands with this. You get these splayed hands, then you get the traditional holding hands, left and right. And then finally you actually get an angled holding hand but just for the right 
And this is specifically for the accessories that come with this, though you can of course use these with any 30 minute missions kit. And what are those accessories? Well, the weapons of course. Uh, starting off with this little accessory piece for them, which can just plug onto any of the uh, hinge joints that 30 minute missions uses. And first off, let's start off with the rifle, which is sort of based on a flintlock, aesthetically. And this is one complaint I do have about the kit. You do have to keep swapping the uh, back plates on the hands, because you only get two. So, just going to swap it once over to the uh, hinged hand, or not hinged, angled, sorry. Just slide in there, holds it, you know, as well as any other 30 minute missions weapon. And uh, then aside from this rifle, which I'm just going to plug on there, you get the katana in black. I'm probably going to paint the blade silver because it'll look nicer, but actually it looks fine in black. So, yeah, this thing just stock looks really nice. This obviously just slides into the hand and fits in really nicely and actually kind of locks in place if you push it all the way in. And this specifically can slide in to this. That slot is specifically designed for this blade to fit in. The handle is actually thicker than the blade and won't fit in there. My only complaint is I kind of wish there was a little swivel on this so that you could angle it a little bit better than just having it stick straight back, but hey, the fact that they included it at all is a good thing. But of course, these aren't the only accessories with these. Yes, a massive step up from the other 30 minute missions kits. This actually comes with a full armor set, not just, you know, a couple of extra pieces to put on it. And with that armor set, comes another upgrade that this kit has over the old ones. It actually comes with two different shoulder pieces. Now, this one is specifically for unarmored shoulders. And you can see that it actually has a shorter ball joint peg. Whereas this one is the same as the other ones and just lets you clip armor onto it. So give me just a moment. And here we have the Spinatio decked out in its full Sengoku armor, and wow, this looks cool. Like, really, really cool, and I would like to point out, fully armored. There's armor on the back. I didn't even realize it had armor on the back, but it looks so complete with the full armor. This is, without a doubt, the best looking 30 minute missions kit yet. Call me a weeb if you want. This thing looks amazing and it is really my aesthetic. But of course, this is the first production run, which also comes with a bonus runner of joint parts. I don't really want to cut these off the runner, <laughs> to be honest. I'm, I'm not sure how much I would use them personally, but... I really hope they sell this on its own at some point, because these are really, really useful parts. And as for a quick size comparison... The Spinatio is actually taller than the previous 30 minute missions kits. Uh, not by a ton, but hey, it's about the same size as the average high-grade Gundam, so yeah, all the mass kind of went vertically this time. So to wrap up this review, buy this kit. This is an amazing kit. It looks great, it has incredible articulation. You barely have to do anything to make it look amazing, just panel line it. There's a ton of customization, even more than other 30 minute missions kits. And it's a really reasonable price. So yeah, not just fully recommended, highly recommended. The Sengoku Spinatio is one of the best kits that's come out this year. But anyway, that's been all for this review. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Subscribe for future reviews and watch my backlog. Go follow me on Twitter for updates. And consider supporting me on Patreon so I can keep bringing you reviews just like this one. And as always, until next time, happy building. <laughs>